Hi guys, I'm doing the Udacity front-end web development uh, nano degree, and I'm going to show you how you make this animal card. Uh, for example, on the right side you can see that there's a clownfish, and that's my exercise for today. I'm going to show you how, what you have to do in the HTML and what you're going to have to do in the CSS uh, for everything to work together. And on the left side, uh, this is the exact. This is what I start with. So I have on the left side the ML card, the placeholder. This is how big the image should be. Uh, I also have a list, um, and I need to write. If you see the comments here, that's it. This is exactly what I have to fill in. So first off, that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the comments because those are hindrance. I already know what I, what I need to do. Uh, I basically just need to enter the right code and follow um, the training card on the right side. What I can see at first is the header is wrong, so from from my perspective, so I'm going to make it an, a main header, so an H1 header. I'm going to change the picture to an emerald tree boa, as you can see right here, and uh, as the description, I'm going to add boa. And then I'm going to have the class as picture. And for the top div, I'm going to use the class card, just so I can get the outline of the card with a little shadow as well. And then I'm also going to do card info, so that I can, um, it's for the description box, so there's a little gray outline. Or um, the, the italic description below the picture, on the example, I, since I need to italicize it, I'm going to name that class fact. For the header class, I'm going to add the class title. For the list, since I need to bold the first part, I'm going to name this, the first span class as label. And then to remove the padding um, and the bullet points of the list, I'm going to name the class list. In a second, I'll just fill all this out and I'll get back to you with all the correct information for my snake animal card. Everything is done uh, on the HTML side. I'm gonna pop over to the uh, CSS file uh, and I'm gonna start adding in classes. I'm gonna have to add a link to the HTML file and you do this by linking it uh, in the HTML part and you don't have to do that in the CSS part. Um, the rel is gonna be the style sheet. Since I've been following this course, I should also add IDs, and it's better if I do it for a bigger section. So I'm going to change the class of card and card info to IDs. For the HTML class, I'm going to be adding font families. I'm going to be working the class of picture, and I'm going to make it a width of 300 pixels. Next, I'm going to be working on the list class, and I'm going to put the list style as none, and it's going to remove the bullet points. And what I'm going to be doing next is remove the padding. So you see this indent here, and I want it to be zero. So I'm going to put it at zero, and then I'm going to refresh the page, and you'll see that it's it doesn't have an indentation anymore. I'm going to be changing the class label to make the first half bold, since I have it in the span right here, and I'm going to make it the font weight to be bold. I'm going to do the same thing with the title. So I'm going to work on the class fact, and I need to, it needs to be italic, so I'm going to just put the font style and make it italic. Refresh it here, and there you go. For the card, I'm going to have to make it the width of 300 pixels, the padding of 10 pixels, and the border of uh, one pixel needs to be a grayish area. And I'm also going to be adding a shadow. And it's going to be five pixels wide on the right side and the bottom side like this. Lastly, I'm going to be adding the card info styling. And I'm going to be adding a margin of zero. I'm going to be adding a pat padding of 10. And a border of one pixel by the same color, a gray color. And once I refresh it there, there we go. We have we have the box, we have some padding, so it doesn't just touch it, it just how it fits on the example camera picture. My work is done. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial.